Now, I'm sure in the past you've heard someone talking about the key of a piece of music. They might have said, this piece of music is in the key of B flat major or the key of A minor. So what exactly do we mean when we talk about a music's key? Almost all music from classical to pop music or rock music and jazz as well can be thought of as having a key. Knowing the key of a piece of music can be really useful because it tells us lots of things. Perhaps the most important thing is the key note or the tonic note or the home note of the music. So the home or tonic note. And this is probably the most important note in the piece of music. When we reach it, it feels like everything comes to a close. And it's also the point where the music feels kind of stable and home. Take a listen to this melody, for example. Now, to me, that music sounded pretty whole and complete. And one of the reasons for that was because I both started and ended the melody on the music's key note. I was playing in the key of C major, which meant that I started and ended the melody on the music's key note of C. That's the first thing that knowing the key of a piece tells us, the home or tonic note that's going to be really important probably throughout the piece and particularly at the end for bringing the piece to a close. But you'll notice that in the name of the keys that I've been talking about, C major, B minor, E major, there's not just one note mentioned. We also talk about major and minor. So what's that bit all about? Well, when we talk about keys, we're also kind of making sure that we're communicating an idea about the scale that we're going to be using. We've talked about scales before as being a collection of pitches that are really useful to join together to make melodies. And when we think about playing a piece in a particular key, chances are we're going to need to use the scale that is associated with that key because it just kind of works. That group of notes is particularly useful. Now, each of the keys that we use corresponds to one of the major or minor scales. And that helps us answer the question, how many keys are there? Because just the same way, there are 12 major and 12 minor scales, there are also 12 major and 12 minor keys. So if someone tells you that you're going to be playing a piece in the key of G major, what they're really telling you is that this music is going to use G as its key or tonic note, the sort of home where the music will feel at rest when we reach that particular note. And also that it's very likely that we'll be using the notes from the scale of G major quite a lot in the music. It's not to say that other notes will never come in because that would obviously be very dull. But as a good guide, we'll know that the scale of G major will be very important. If, on the other hand, someone told you you're going to be playing a piece in the key of G minor, well, that's a little bit different. The key or tonic note is still going to be G, so that's going to still be the kind of centre of gravity for the music, but you're going to be using a different scale, most likely, and that will be the scale of G minor. So let's take a listen to two different melodies. The first one will be in the key of G major, which means that it uses G as its keynote and makes use of the scale of G major. Whereas the second will be in the key of G minor. So it'll still be using G as the keynote, but it'll make use of that different minor scale. So I hope you could hear the difference there that changing the key of the music from G major to G minor changed the colour and the sounds even just in a simple melody. There is one final thing that knowing the key of a piece of music can tell us and that is the tonic chord. Just the same way that when we know the key of a piece of music, we'll know the tonic note. So a piece in the key of B flat major will have a tonic note of B flat. Just the same way that piece will have a tonic chord of B flat major. Let's just look at one more example. Let's use the key of B flat major and look at the tonic chord in action. Knowing that we're in the key of B flat major is telling us that we're going to have a tonic note of B flat. We're probably going to be using the scale of B flat major a lot of the time, which looks like this. And also there is a tonic chord of B flat major. 
I'm now going to put those three bits of information into practice in a little composition. You might have noticed something quite interesting there, that I didn't actually finish the melody of that piece on the music's tonic note of B-flat. Instead, I finished it on the third degree of the scale, a D. But because I used the tonic chord of B-flat to complete my melody, I hope you'll agree it sounded pretty rounded off and finished anyway. Have a listen again. So there you go, there's my introduction to what is a key and why it is so useful to know the key of any piece that we're playing. Because it'll tell you all these useful things about how the music's going to work and some things we can expect to find along the way as well.